Welcome, this is your man of election. Just we're back with Genshin Impact today. Right into the video, I would like to make a video team. The reason why I'm making a video team is because I realized while well, walking around in Zhongli and Farina is fine, you know, nothing, nothing will top me walking around as Lumi. Give me something good here. Fuck. Crit rate was right there. That's what I'm, like. what I'm saying is that the crit rate, it was, it was right, it was right there. It was right there. Now at least you'll do some damage. Ah, I'm gonna kick ass and take names. Ah, who's ass about kicking? Ah, ah, nice ass. Moving on. Lumine is here to get rid of the lives that are useless in the present. For Lumine knows exactly what she does. And how evil she is. It's confirmed with the guards that our shift is set for every morning. And we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. Look, free vacation in the underwater submarine. I hope no one's using a wireless controller here. But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Ugh, more errands. Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. They weren't kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything here. I mean, yeah, get a couple of credit coupons, get everybody to dress in white like Lumine, call it a freak off, baby oil. Got that shit, bro. We have a party. So tired, and we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything else. I mean, do we need anything else, bro? We don't. We don't have to leave this room to eat. Paimon, you have all the food stored in you. Hmm. Nighty night, traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. Stop being cute. I swear, Paimon. Sometimes I just want to choke that cute that hug, choke, hug, choke. So Tartaglia's vision. Delusion vision? Wait, vision delusion. Olicino, is that you? Yes, mother! I mean father! I'm sorry! Spare me! Don't step on me! Oh no, she's pulling out the studded dildo! No! Somebody save me! I'm just imagining how hard I'm going to kick the asses. I stood there so long just imagining how I'm going to beat the asses. And then I woke up. It was all a dream. Mm, are you awake, traveler? I don't know. I'm sitting up. I'm looking at you. Hmm? What's wrong? You seem to have something on your mind. Did you dream about something last night? I dreamt of a child. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lumine. Lumine. Take it back. I don't take it back. You better take it back. Yo, what are you going to do to me? I'll climb through the screen, Lumine. No, you don't do that dirty shit right here. Is that even possible? Unless it wasn't an ordinary dream? Oh, child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours! Maybe I can use his vision. And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. Good. Less work, less effort, back to sleep. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where child went? No, I do not know where the child went. Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. You would think that in the prison, they would at least confiscate the visions. Considering that some characters are walking nooks. The weakest walking nook, Hazel. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners. Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons. I don't quite understand why we're so happy about that. What's the plan for today? Let's go work. Let's go. It's time. Yo ho, yo ho. Prisoners laugh me. Yo ho, yo ho. Working the construction zone for free. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasting. All right. Good. Here you go. He's chilled now. All right. He's chilled now. All right. No shouting and screaming. No acting like that. All right, Zhongli. Hello. Wait, 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 not just wrongly. Go for dinner as well. Wow, bro, might as well. Everybody. We do everybody here. Now we start it. We don't have to do nothing. This is so funny, bro. Go, my minions! <sighs> Paimon's beat. But after so many shifts, it seems we're really getting the hang of it now. All you do is float around telling me what to do. Hey there, fellow shift mates. 
I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Let's go to steal our credit coupons. Pull out my plate. Oh, hey there. We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? He has that beard. I don't trust him. <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. His beard is, his beard is making me not trust him for some reason. And he's staring quite intently at Paimon. I don't trust him. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainville, always calls me chief. Why are you here? That's the question. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief! In other words, you haven't managed any improvement in 15 years. Oh! Hey, not so loud! I don't care. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. Looks at the back of his hand. Sees cancer. He's like, yeah, I'm dying as well. Alright, Chief, we'll be sure to come to you first. I think I've got the work more or less down pat. Did you just ask about the rules? Rule 34, rule 63, these things are common troops nowadays. <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? Oh, now you want to get serious, huh? You're not intimidating anyone, glasses and straight beard. Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me chief. I guess I can tell you a little. See, by my flattery always works. Just glaze a little and then they'll shut up. Truth is, it's your job, if by you the keep way. working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. So the conditions in this case are... If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. <gasps> oh gosh! My great stars! Let me clutch my balls! Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! Stop scaring my floating baby! <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. Now would I? You mean... Even you have never tried working three days like that before? No wonder he's never advanced. There's actually a legend about this rule. Yes, legend in a prison that's only existed for a certain amount of time. Totally legend! They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. He died! One time, he tried oh, to test okay. his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day... He died! He disappeared into oh, thin air. Oh, okay. Berated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. Cause he died. What the? How could that happen? He's probably dead. Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. And you find that he's been talking about himself the whole time and he disguised himself with glasses and beard thinking that he's Superman. Wait, are you thinking that it was... We'll give it a try. Huh? Oh? You... Uh, listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? Paimon, you're not even the one that would get in trouble. I am. <sighs> Alright, if you insist. There's the courage. Raising baby courage. What is this garbage? Ooh, it looks disgusting! Oh, Paimon misses your cooking now. I mean, couldn't you just summon food that I've stored within you? What would you like to do this afternoon? What are we doing this afternoon? Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn credit coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. You underestimate me. Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Exactly, Paimon. Sometimes a good nap against that wall over there will work. I'll see you soon. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. My type of girl. Come, let's slack off together. We ride. My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. 
but knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Sure, sure. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Seriously, I like it too much, Brian. Get it away from me. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? See if we're giving us coupons, five more, and I'm blushing here. I've been here longer than you, so credit coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Marry me! Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Oh, he hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. You were the one who was shaking like a leaf on steroids. No need to be so nervous. Uh, sorry. I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Uh... Is this like one of those diseases where you have a heart and every time you think of someone and then it doesn't go away? It's Beyblade! It's the Traveler and Paimon! Oh, so now you remember our names. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. At least you didn't get people to shank us for that I respect you, but had you done so, I swear... Just like His Grace said, paying attention to every little detail is the key to prosperity. Hmm, maybe this is the true meaning of rebirth, not just earning credit coupons. Seems like he just reads the revelation. I need to play Honka Impact. I'm so behind in that game, bro, it's not even fun. It's just that Honka Impact takes a lot of brain power, bro. You need to understand some shit to play that game. Oh, you want to stop investigating and go rest? To sleep. Yo, Paimon, I need to end the video, bro. Paimon, I need to end the video, bro. Why did you do this to me, game? Every time! Oh, that's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Paimon, you... Uh. Paimon, you do not do much. And I'm too tired to be mad at you. Could you stop? You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Can we stop now? Fuck! Oh, I'm much exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon's little body can't handle this much longer. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working non-stop for three days now? And now it's lunchtime. Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? Yes. But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Be careful about death. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? That would be quite the disappointment. Well, there's... Don't catch me. I got seen me. wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. Wait. What? Where's Wu Tao? I know she's here somewhere. This can only be her. Suspicious looking food. There's only one person. What? What in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same. Is this stuff meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre. What kind this... of chef would make food like this? There's something wrong with this meat. What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? Someone went missing before, and now our meals have the strange meat. No, stop right there. Paimon gets what you mean, just don't say it. Death. Hey, isn't that Wolsey over there? He must have made the food right. Hey, Wolsey, have a moment? Hmm, what is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and chow down. Who are you trying to gaslight here? Uh, how could this be fun? Hey, don't leave! You barely even looked at it! Hey! Holding in anger? Ugh. What should we do now? Wolsey wouldn't even give us the time of day. The plot thickens. Yeah, looks like we... Alright, we found one clue. And now oh, the video can... Fuck, Paimon. Really, bro? Since we have time now, let's... As you man, I'm little cringers. I want you to like, subscribe, smack yeah. a face with the keyboard a couple of times, still never get set to all this. Don't forget to check out all our links in the description. Especially our main channel, just the gamers when playing God of War. And uh, yeah, let me go play God of War now. Mm -hmm.
bright. Maybe we can make some progress in our investigation today. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything else. I mean, do we need anything else? Bro, we don't, we don't have to leave this room to eat. Paimon, you have all the food stored in you. Hmm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. Stop being cute. I swear, Paimon, sometimes I just want to choke that cute, that... Huh? Choke? Huh? Choke?